newbies who did this. Three, three, third grade or fourth grade? Third grade. Third grade, because I had that class for two years. You guys, we changed the script just a little bit. So there might be some new parts that you be like, we didn't do that. But we're trying to make it a little funnier, okay? <laughs> and <laughs> we have a couple extra kids in my class this year than what I had with you guys too. So we wanted to make sure that everybody would be able to participate. Before um, we began practice, the kids tried out. They wrote me a note telling me what parts they would like to try out for. Some of them wanted all 187 lines that um, Wilbur has. And some said, ah, can I do the bar? You know, kind of thing. <laughs> One of our skills in fourth grade, though, is to learn to learn the very beginning stages in how to speak publicly. And we've worked all year on building that confidence. So everyone has a speaking part in our play today. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Told them there's three fans on. We need to be as loud as we can so that the old people in the back <laughs> can hear us. And I know that they can be at a level three or four because I hear them at recess and I do that all the time. So I'm looking for a three or four. Mom, dad, grandmas, brothers and sisters love you. They love you unconditionally. If you come out here and you go, oh, I can't remember my line. Don't care. I'll tell you what it is and we're going to keep going. Okay? We'll probably laugh anyway, and that's what we're looking for. Okay? <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Just yes. silent off stage. Wait a minute, Wilbur! Wilbur! What a great 
He's a spring pig. He doesn't know anything. Here, pig. Don't fall for it. You're out. And you're back in. Here you go, piggy. That's a good pig. Aw, oh, man. He pulled out the slop. I'd have been to the county line by now. What do you expect? He's just a pig. Thanks for your suggestions, everyone. But I think I should stay here. Fern is going to be back soon anyway. He's as stupid as a stick. I won't even speak to him. Sweetheart, it's down to them. You let you run away if you could. Uh, I, I meant if I were a pig. <laughs> you know what happens to pigs around oh. here. Yes, I do. But you never, ever spoke about Hi, my name is Wilbur. Anyone want to play? Hey, kid, this is a barn. We don't play. We work. For some of us, anyway. Some of us? <laughs> Are you naughty? That I don't work because I work nutty hard. Thank you. Hard? Please, you grow hair. <gasps> you grow hair? That's a good one. <laughs> oh, is that your contribution so sad to you, Gassy Ribeye? Filthy hair, Bob. Gassy Ribeye? Late call. Ugh, they're at it again. Little itty bitty pig, can you come here, please? He said your name is Will, right? That's right. What is your name? Good. That's a great name. Thank you, Wilbur. Now you are so cute, pig, but you're wasting your time. These animals don't play. What about you? Me? I have to stand on my eggs. Oh, wow. Look at that. Otherwise, I'd love to play. So, why can't you play? Because what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And you? There's something about playing and tangling of the hair. You? <laughs> you can't play on three empty stomachs. But you're all friends, right? Oh, sure. We've been here together our whole lives. Not sure if you're in the same place meet your friends. I'm not hungry. I just want someone to play with. What's that? Oh? Oh? Could it be? Could it be? <laughs> oh joy, it seems that Pink Swap has brought out the rodent. Who is that? Mommy. Templeton. Mommy. Rat. Templeton, that's a great name. And person. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Wilbur. Oh, Wilbur. That's a tacky name if you ask for me. <laughs> well, nobody, nobody, nobody asked for you. Well, I admit. It's nice to have a pig around here. I haven't had delicious slops in ages. But the slops are for me. Oh, I am sure you will find it in your charitable little heart to share your food with dear old Templeton. <laughs> hey, you want to play Templeton? For so many reasons. No. <laughs> See, I don't know. I know, I spy, I eat, and I me in a nutshell. Can't you just stay in chat? Chat, glimpse. No spot, eat, hide, no chatting on the list. <laughs> What's all the commotion in here? We have a new resident, and his name is Wilbur. Oh, yes, the pig. You know about me? I overheard the gentleman discussing you. They not to keep you nice and comfortable. Oh, I am going to like it here. Just to say, I don't envy you. You know what? They want to make you fat and tender, don't you? No, I don't. Now, now, old chief, you learn soon enough. Learn what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. My pleasure. I am sure. Well, I beg that. You better hit the sack, Wilbur. It's been a long day. Okay. Hi, Wilbur. The animals seem nice, except the temperature, and I'm a little concerned about the old sheets from our You know why the ones make you fat and tender, don't you? Well, I don't know, and you want to tell me. Well, I'm going to try to learn how 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 to learn I need to concentrate, so good night. But I can't sleep now. Please tell me who you are. I'm really lonely. I'll tell you what. You go to sleep right now because it's birth tomorrow. Converse? I think your word was chat. Oh, okay.
Look at them. They are just eggs in now. Look at them. Way to go, Gussie. They don't call from Mother Goose for nothing. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, look at that. They are so cute. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. It wasn't easy, but I managed. You managed. <laughs> Honey, I mean, we manage. Hmm. Weren't there eight eggs? One didn't make it. So you're saying there was a dud? Who you call a dud? Whoa, there, Father Goose. I'm just trying to help the happy couple. What would you want with a rotten egg anyway? Well, I guess this isn't gonna hatch. Take and add your nasty ass. Last one out is a rotten egg. <laughs> Don't break that egg, rat. That would make this barn stink to high heaven. Like that'd be a change. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because that would stink. Don't worry. I handle stuff like this all the time. I'll put it right here under the top of my other things. Oh, Wilbur, I have some good news. Uncle Homer and Aunt Edith seem to be glad you're putting on weight. Sure they are. You know why, don't you? Now, now, old chief. He has to know sometime. You know what? Wilbur, I don't like to spread bad news, but they're fattening you up because they're going to kill you. They're going to what? Kill you. Turn you into smoked bacon and ham. It'll happen when the weather turns cold. It's a regular conspiracy. Stop! I don't want to die. I want to stay with my friends. I want to breathe the beautiful air and lie in the beautiful sun. You're certainly making a beautiful noise. But I don't want to die. Wilbur, quiet down. You're not going to die. What? Who is going to save me? I am. How? Well, I'm afraid that we're being to be saved. In here, I breathe. Well, I'm going to get you. It's time for soap. Whoa. Look at that spider. It's your vengeance. Leave it alone. That's a fun spider, and I'm going to capture it. Here, spider, spider, spider. You spider. stop it now, Avery. Oh, the spider. That's all my stick for it. Stop. Stop it, I say. That's not I warned you, Avery. That's not fair. You would look again, up on me. Ew. What's that? No. I think we broke a lot of eggs. Let's get out of here. <laughs> My beloved egg! Well, I'm glad that's over. It's no go away soon. Charlotte? Yes, Wilbur? Were you serious when you promised you would keep them from killing me? I've never been more serious in my whole life. How are you going to save me? Well, I really don't know. But I want you to get some sleep and stop worrying. Good night. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I promised to save his life, and I'm determined to keep his promise. But how? Wait a minute. The way to save Wilbur is to play with the little leopard. If I can fool a bug, I can certainly do a man. But of course, that's it. It won't be easy, but it has to be done. First, I will tear out a section of the mint. Then I shall weave some new threads to take place in the winter wind. Whoops. Stick. Stick. Longer gets better too. Good. And tie on. Great. The message is fun. Come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friends. Some pick. Not battle, girl. First of all. Bruise egg with something. Better catch a nap. Here you go, pig. Breakfast. Leftover pancakes, half a dozen. What's that? I've seen things. Mr. Zuckerman, Mr. Zuckerman, I think you better come down to the pig pen quick. Now, what's the big idea? What is so important? You have to drag me out here. You'll see, Mr. Zuckerman. You'll see. What's a so mean pig? So mean. <laughs> it's a miracle. Nothing short of the bones by a miracle. Word spread quickly around town about the word of spider's web at Zuckerman's farm. People came from miles around to see this famous pig. Where's the spider that did this? Well, we looked all around, but we couldn't find it. 
as ugly as that spider is, we should have known she was smart. So you don't believe that someone might be smart and pretty? No! <laughs> yes! Yes! I mean yes! Because you are never a little spider, isn't she? Oh, pretty good. That's like a crazy He's a goner. Yeah, sure I'm glad nobody eats cows. Well, I gotta say, that's a fine looking pig. Yep, that's something all right. After a few weeks, Mom and I was the lead wore off. Nobody cared anymore. What was amazing yesterday was something ordinary again today. It looks like Boomer might not see snow anymore. Excuse me, I understand his bonding and so on and so forth, but must this concern us at this own godly hour? No, Boomer's not the only one that can have as this is scared of the apples in his mouth. Ah, yes, good point. Carry on then. I just involve every one of us. I I just have trouble looking at you, that's all. This isn't about me, it's about Wilbur. And for the record, my view of you is not exactly a true either. <laughs> 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 As we've all seen, humans have very short attention spans. And there's just too much time between now and now. Certainly enough time for Wilbur's infection for a pig, losing out to hunger for a man. Man, that spider can talk! Yeah, what did she say exactly? She said the farmer might possibly still swatter the pig. Sorry, old chap, it is a common favor. It'll... I could just pass through the fence again. No, once is enough. I didn't have to give the right word. Something that, something that makes Bobo so special that these learners never think about telling him again. You need something snappy, like be supreme. Sounds like a dessert. How about our money seems proportional? How about delicious? Or nutritious? Or extra crisp? <laughs> How about terrific, terrific, terrific? Good. Much too long. We only got to think about One terrific might work. It simply isn't true. The pig is not terrific. Look at him. He's absolutely average. <laughs> Which may be too smooth, and that's the word you should write. Average. Wilbur, this only works if the word I write is true. Don't only you can tell us Mr. Bennett. Now, look around. Let's go get him to help you. Tell us how you feel. Thank <laughs> you. 
spent all night scourging around the deck for scraps. Oh, and for that perfect word, he arrived back at the barn in the wee hours of the morning. Oh, it's nice. 
finest curly tail. I think he's the finest pig we've seen today. Hey, let's go with that pig over there. I think I've heard of you. Aren't you that radiant pig who's supposed to be terrific? Hey, look at this pig, look at it. He's gigantic. And he seems very confident. He may be, he may be moving after all. Oh dear, did you hear that, Charlotte? Do, do not be on friends, those are the judges there to suspect him. The judges are the ones who count. Well, here's your order. Better be a good one. This is for instance the last word I ever write. Charlotte, what do you mean? Someone says my eyesight seems to be good. I'm not important. What's the word? Fumble. I must have swallowed the remains 
the 30 lunches. Oh, it was rich, my friends, rich. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You probably have a tech with huge indigestion. Don't worry about me. Wilbur's the one you should be worrying about. What do you mean? As I came past that pig next door, the one that calls himself Uncle, I noticed the blue ribbon on the front of his head. That means he won first prize. Wait till Zuckerman gets a hankering for some fresh pork and smoked ham. He'll take a knife to you, my boy. Be still. Don't pay any attention to him, Wilbur. I bet he's so scared he's going to faint again. No, I'm not. Whatever will happen, will happen. I may not live as long as I'd like, but I've lived very well. There are more important things than thinking about yourself all the time, like you, Templeton. You didn't even notice Sean made an egg sack. Eggs, sir. Charlotte is going to be a mother. For your information, there are 514 eggs in that sack. Well, congratulations. It has been quite a night. I'm very sorry about the blue ribbon holder. You're being very brave. Bravery is one of the many things I've learned from you, Charlotte, my friend. Look what it says in Charlotte's web. Humble. Humble. Another miracle. He's sure to win that blue ribbon now. Oh no, I can't believe it. What is it, Avery? The fat pig over there already won this prize. What? It's not fair. Why didn't they tell us the judging would be so early? Go get the truck, Derby. We did our best. But it's time to take the pig home. Attention, please. Attention, please. We would like to ask as many of you to assemble in the livestock area. We are about to Special award. Special award? It must be for the cows or the horses. When you arrive at the livestock area, please go to the section where the pigs are located. Yeah, I bet that fat pig will be something called the awards. We will ask you to report <laughs> directly to the pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. Pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. Yahoo! <laughs> I will leave you here to die. I will stay 
to give a little bit of background information, Charlotte's Web is one of my favorite books from when I was growing up. In fact, some of the kids were actually reading from my book when we did it as a novel. Uh, I think it has a great message that's really important to fourth graders and 46 year olds, and that is the gift of friendship. So we talk a lot about friendship in our class and what it means to be a good friend. And so we decided to take this play on and share it with you. Feel free to love up your actors. <laughs> 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 <laughs>